In the trucking community, Lisa Kelly was and is a star. Where has she gone since Ice Road Truckers ended? Little woman, big truck, a natural fit for the camera. You just don't see women piloting big machines everywhere. Lisa Kelly was one of Ice Road Truckers' only female drivers. She made her TV debut in 2009, having appeared between seasons 3 and 11 on the History Channel show, minus season 6 where she was overwhelmed with the constant need for more from reality TV. Ice Road Truckers covered the struggles that long-distance truckers go through as they cross the perilous frozen lakes and passes in North America. Most of us only get that kind of action when playing Spin Tire's Mud Runner. To paraphrase David Harbour's character in Gran Turismo, in Mud Runner, when you mess up, you just hit reset. Oh dear. Oh dear. In the real world, well, the stakes are much higher. If you make a wrong move up here, it's not just going to be a wrong move, it's going to be a dead wrong move. Trucks open up cracks in the ice, head over the edges of roads, and can slide down cliffs. Using a fly-on-the-wall setup, the producers pieced together a view into the lonely lives of these workers. The show's final season aired in 2017. Since then, all the featured truckers, including Kelly, have disappeared into relative obscurity. But just because we aren't able to see Lisa at our convenience doesn't mean she isn't still a star. Her status in the trucking community is very high despite the exit from the Ice Road Truckers show. She's flying under the major media radar for sure. But in 2023, Lisa Kelly is still living the wild truck life to the fullest, just minus the TV frame. When driving for the show, Kelly was part of Carlisle and operated primarily in Alaska. Speaking with Overdrive in May 2021, Kelly revealed that she now works for another logistics supplier but still drives north from the Alaskan city Kenai to Prudhoe Bay. It's a 1,500-mile, 32-hour journey without delays. Ice truckers do these drives on their own with large semis. These lone wolves will stop and sleep in the cabins of their trucks on these work trips. She's doing her part to provide a vital service to the massive oil and gas industries that support the Alaskan economy. Unlike many reality TV shows, I don't give a f about the cast didn't have a grand falling out, probably because of the large distance between the truckers, which allowed them not to get on each other's nerves. Kelly claims to talk to Todd Dewey. She also occasionally runs into Jack Jesse and Phil Crom when working on the road, who both still work for Carlisle. Long winters impact Kelly's work season, as there's only so much snow she can drive through. Kelly's social media presence is quite modest. She has an Instagram account with 18,700 followers, and it's what you'd expect. Tasteful photos of her, trucks, and her in trucks. She's quite active on YouTube, with video blogs we'd imagine she uses to stay sane on the long drives, with videos being uploaded almost every week. In her free time, she rides horses and motorcycles. She's been married since 2008 and keeps most of the deets about that on the down low. Kelly currently drives a freight liner Coronado, saying she's good at quote-unquote blowing them up. Which engine option, you ask? Not sure, but I do know the Severe Duty truck has options up to 600 horsepower and 2,050 pound-feet of torque. On the show, Kelly mostly drove Kenworths, like the W900, similar to the red one Liam Neeson drove in the Netflix movie The Ice Road. So will Kelly return to the screen? Lisa Kelly is open to making a return to the media. She describes the show as being on hiatus instead of cancelled. For now, she's a trucker through and through, riding off into the cold on the lonely Alaskan highways.